Hey, Timinator the Toolman back at you. Uh, back with another little follow-up video. Um, a while back I made this box for my drywall tools. And uh, I actually got the idea from uh, the Vancouver Carpenter. You can see his uh, show. Uh, he's pretty good. And uh, also I had a little uh, update that I wanted to show. Um, some of these tools are the uh, blue metal, um, these blades for uh, taping and floating. Uh, some of these are the, the blue metal and I have some of the uh, uh, stainless ones, which are, I like a lot better actually. Um, I typically like the stainless ones, but uh, one of my followers, Chris Rhodes, um, I believe he does the same kind of work that I do, uh, maintenance on properties and stuff like that. Uh, and I had made this box and uh, uh, to keep my, you know, my drywall tools in, keep them from getting damaged. Because if most of you guys know um, that if they're not straight, uh, then it can cause damage when you're putting on the, the drywall. Um, so um, basically, uh, Chris wrote in and he said, hey, um, I keep... Uh, a little bottle of uh, uh, oil from uh, uh, hair cutting tools, I believe it was from like the beauty supply. You can get a, little, a small little bottle. Well, I don't usually grab that. I have, usually have WD-40 laying around somewhere, so I usually keep a, a can of that in here as well. Um, and when I get done with my drywall tools, WD-40 is water displacement. Uh, chemical so uh, it's what the WD stands for so I started doing that and uh, since then uh, since Chris had mentioned it um, my uh, drywall tools have been a lot better some of them are some of them are uh, stainless some of them are most of them are the same maker but uh, since I started doing that I noticed a difference in my, my drywall tools so thanks Chris I really appreciate it I uh, really appreciate you watching on a continualist basis. Um, and if you're getting value out of my, my channel, if you wouldn't go down there and uh, mine and go down there and like and comment and subscribe, I would appreciate it very much. Uh, please comment. If you got any ideas that, like Chris did with the, uh, the oil, uh, I really appreciate it. Um, kind of gives me, lets me know if I'm on the right track. Um, I even keep... Uh, one of these little um, tubs from the mud. I keep one in here. Um, if you ever seen the uh, that kilted guy, uh, he actually came up with the idea of using these. Put it, stick one in your drill, and mix up the mud. Um, you can even mix mix it in one of these little tubs and, and go to town. I have a 14 inch. Uh, uh, this is this. Uh, case is big enough to hold a 14 inch uh pan which i have a 14 inch knife somewhere and then this is a 12 inch pan um i really like this pan uh kind of better than the, the square ones because it's got the handle on the bottom and i don't remember where i don't even know what this is a, i think it's made by stanley um so there's a little side note there uh, this one's got the handle so it's a lot hard, hard, uh, hard, easier to hold than some of the other pans that are just uh, square. And when they get wet, uh, it's a little little easier to hold on to. So that's just a side note there. Um, anyway, um, again, I appreciate it, Chris, uh, for watching. And if you guys uh, have an issue with uh, keeping your drywall knives uh, set up and you're keep getting them damaged, um, then, uh, you can make something like this. It, it's really helped me out since I found it on, uh, Vancouver Carpenters page. Um, and, uh, I really like the, the idea. Plus you can, I throw this in, uh, in my truck toolbox and it fits in there perfectly. I think it's like 16 inches. Um, and most of the truck toolboxes are like 17 or 18 inches, uh, wide, um, so, uh, anyway, hope that helps somebody. You wouldn't mind going down there and liking, subscribing, and 
commenting. I'd really appreciate it, and I hope you have a great day.